Box Thinking Media in association with Boxro. Adam Smith, a big fight night for Sky in a couple of weeks' time. We've done the media workout a couple of weeks early. Just run me through the card in, in, in your own words. June the 11th, Richard Riakbor against Fabio Turchi. Really good fight, and uh, it's a fight that we wanted to make a few weeks ago. Uh, Fabio couldn't, uh, couldn't be with us on that one, so we went with Dion Juma, which was a great replacement, a fantastic replacement, the Battle of the Unbeatens, um, and Dion will come, come good again from it. I said to Richard afterwards, I said, I'd really like you to fight Ta uh, Fabio Turchi. I'd really like you to fight maybe even one more before the world title, because uh, I know there's a lot of talk about him fighting Bradis or fighting for a world title. I think we've got to get that timing right. It's not really my job, it's more for John Wish and you know, uh, Angel Fernandez and the team. But uh, obviously, um, you know, I, I want the best for Richard because he's a boxer fighter, he's a Sky fighter. And I believe he's starting to, uh, to cross over a bit to the casuals. I walk around the office at Sky and people go, that Richard Riat boy, he's good looking, or that Richard Riat boy can punch, or he's a football fan. He's starting just to, just to get into that audience, which we wanted him to. You know, look at him, he looks fantastic. He's, he punches hard, he's got a great backstory. He's, He's perfect for us. Um, how good is he? We still are finding out. We know he's good. Can he be great? Can he become a world champion? Can he one day go up to heavyweight? All of those questions are there, but he's a very, very interesting fighter. And uh, the midnight train's gonna roll in on uh, June the 11th and top a really good card. I love the fact that um, Jermaine Brown and Zach Shelley are going at each other. That's a 50-50 fight. Really good, really good. and. Um, Chris Congo for Bella. That's a, that's a great match. We saw the Conor Bent for Bella match. That'd be interesting to see how Chris deals with him. Um, Vidal, Ebony, and Lauren Price turning professional. I'm telling you. I sound like Eddie now. No, I'm not like Eddie. I'm, he's much better at this stuff. I think Lauren is going to be a superstar. I think she has. I was at the Boxing Riders dinner the other night with Ben and his boxer table. Didn't see Eddie or Frank, or Frank Warren, or Frank Smith, none of them. It's a shame, I'd like to have seen them all. Ben was there, he had, Ka he had Karis and Lauren on his table, and I had Caroline Dubois on mine, right? Sat next to her, she's gonna be a superstar, by the way. Caroline. Lauren, they read out her resume. Have you ever read through what Lauren Price has done in her life? From, I mean, I can't tell you how many gold medals, trophies, championships in martial arts, 50 caps, for Wales in football. And all of the awards, medals, accolades she's won as a boxer in the amateurs. And everybody that I speak to tells me she's gonna be one of the greatest that's ever lived as a boxer. But just as a sportswoman, it's unbelievable. Put Karis alongside her, who won bronze, who can punch, who's got incredible charisma. The two of them together are gonna to be a phenomenal power couple. They really are. So I'm very, very excited about Lauren Price. She turns on that show. Carrie Sartingstall turns on June the 25th in Coventry, alongside a great lineup of young guns, Adam Azim headlining. We've got the two tournament winners, Corey Gibbs and Dylan Chima. Sam Eggington, guaranteed, guaranteed action with Sam. Great night, that Coventry. And then we bookended it with two fantastic global affairs with Devon Haney and Cambosis and with Batobi Evans-Smith. So great June, but June the 11th, it's not just for trade fans, it's a great casual fan fight as well. Because you'll see Richard Riatpour, who's is, is just coming through now. And uh, Vidal Riley as well, with all his social um, media numbers. Um, we're looking forward to it. Back at Wembley. Great night, June the 11th. And uh, yeah, get down there. I know you'll be there. I will be.